From WPTA, your weather authority, this is ABC 21 News at Noon. Good afternoon, I'm Kayla Stewart. We begin this noon hour with the latest coronavirus numbers here in the Hoosier State. The Indiana State Department of Health is reporting 22 new deaths, bringing the total to more than 3,000. 2,328 new cases were reported, bringing that total to more than 143,000. They say today's total includes about 300 cases whose reporting was delayed due to a technical issue over the past few days. And here in Allen County, health officials have reported the highest amount of new COVID-19 cases in the county since the department started keeping track in mid-March. The Allen County Department of Health reported 138 new cases of the virus Friday. To some developing news now, the Indianapolis Colts say they are planning to reopen their practice facility. This after it was reported that four people within the organization initially tested positive for COVID-19. But as the numbers increase across our state, Ohio health officials are adding Indiana to a travel advisory list. They say people living in Ohio should not travel to Indiana, and if they do, they should quarantine. Officials say this isn't a travel ban between Indiana and Ohio, but it is a recommendation by Ohio health officials to try and keep people safe. The advisory recommends people traveling to Indiana and back to Ohio self-quarantine for 14 days but it stopped short of enforcement. A representative from the Ohio governor's offices said in a statement, quote, the travel advisory exempts those who live in one state and whose regular place of employment is in another. We spoke with two Ohio residents who commute to Fort Wayne for work. Um, we don't have a lot of interactions with people or customers. Um, 